What's going on guys? ReefKid25 here <clears throat> and this is my new frag tank build. Now this is going to be a 40 gallon frag tank. This is a 40 gallon uh, breeder and this is kind of just going to be my my introduction to my frag tank um, and everything I got going on. So so anyways to start I got the 40 gallon breeder at Petco. Got it on a dollar a gallon sale. Um, those That's always a killer sale. I mean if you ever catch a dollar a gallon sale get down there and get some tanks because that's about the best deal you're going to find for a brand new tank. Um, same with the stand. I got the stand at Petco. Same thing. The stand was like 40 bucks, so it was like 80 bucks for the aquarium and the stand. Um, for filtration, I'm going to do the AquaClear hang-on back filter. Now, I don't normally do hang-on back filters. Not really my thing. Um, but the Aqua... But this is, so this is going to be in my office. And so I'm really going to be the only one that sees it, so I don't need to make it super nice. I was, you know, I thought about plumbing it and doing a sump and all that kind of stuff, but being that I'm going to be the only one that sees it, I figured I'd go um, just do a hang on back filter. So I went with Aqua AquaClear. AquaClear is one of like the leading brands in hang on back filters. Probably one of the best hang on back filters you can get. Now with salt water, they normally say go double. Um, for hang on back filters, I would say that that is true except for AquaClear hang on back filters. Any other brand I'd go double and the only reason why is because most brands have, they design the filter chamber to only accept their cartridge so you can't really manipulate it very much. Well with AquaClear, um, it's very, the you can pretty much add any type of filtration you want to in the hang on back filter along with the filtration they sell as well. Um, which is another great thing. So I got the 50 gallon, which I think is going to be more than enough. I'm going to have all the biological filtration in here anyway, so um, I think it'll be perfect. I'm going to do a little uh, 200 watt uh, heater. I got this on Amazon. It was an open box deal. I got it for like six bucks, so you can't really beat that. And it's Pen Penplex, which is a which is a good brand. It's accurate to one degree, which is really good. Um, I've had a lot of heaters that aren't that accurate, so it's always nice when uh, when they guarantee it. <clears throat> so I also have this cast acrylic. So one of the things I'm going to be doing in this tank with this cast acrylic, as you can see, it's black cast acrylic, is to hide like the protein skimmer and the heater. I'm going to build a little chamber in the tank, in the aquarium, in the back here. Let's see if I can kind of get it set up. Um, it's not going to be quite that big, but I'm going to build a little chamber so I can put all the filtration. So I got some nice black cast acrylic so I could do that. That's going to kind of replace the sump because I, I don't like to see the filtration in the, in the tank, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of the hang on back filters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a nice, uh, a nice square black chamber, uh, filter chamber inside the aquarium, similar to how the BioCube is where all the filtration's in the back so I can hide the heater and the skimmer and you know any other filtration I put into the aquarium. So for the skimmer, I just got the Aquatic Life um, mini skimmer. Now this thing's rated for 30 gallons, but these skimmers are beasts. I actually originally bought this to put it in the BioCube, but the BioCube skimmer honestly works pretty well. So I decided, well, instead of buying another skimmer for this tank, I'll just use this one. My true gallon is probably only going to be 30 gallons anyways. Um, so that's why I got this. These are awesome little skimmers. Um, they're in-tank skimmers. They're not hang-on back skimmers. So this will go in the little chamber that I have um, that I'm going to be building. So, And honestly, the true uh, gallons that I'm going to have is probably going to be close to 30 gallons anyways once I get all the sand and rock in there. Um, so I am. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this live sand, of course. I always use live sand because it's kind of a good way around it's obviously it's good for your tank just like live rock is um, but I'm not doing any live rock in this tank I'm only going to be doing live sand and dry rock and the reason is, is I don't really like using live rock unless I have to and now that I have a seated tank which is my bio cube I'm going to use live sand I'm going to use dry rock um, and then I'm going to seed it I got a filter pad in my bio cube right now and I'm going to seed it with that so I got some nice uh, Here's the dry rock I got. I got about 35 pounds of this stuff, which will be more than enough. Um, 
So I'm going to do all dry rock, which will eventually become live. I'm going to do about 50 pounds of live sand. That's only 10 pounds. I got another 40 pounds coming. Um, and I also have my lights coming. I just got a couple black box lights. So all in all, this is going to be an awesome build. I'm really excited for it, and then um, I'm excited for you guys to watch it. I'll do a video on the little built-in chamber, too. And not only is this setup going to be good for frag tanks, this is also going to be good for um, anyone that just wants to do a simple saltwater aquarium in their home. It doesn't have to be a frag tank. They can do a real aquarium with the filtration I provided and the methods I'm going to use, and I'll do videos on those as well. Um, but all in all, this is a great, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, this would be a, this would also be a great um, video to follow. So obviously subscribe to my page if you'd like to follow it. Um, because, like I said, as I'm setting it up, it's going to be a frag tank for me, but the filtration that I'm putting into it will also work great for um, just a basic saltwater aquarium setup. I got some black box lights coming that are really strong. They're 165 watts a piece. And so I'm going to have, I got two of them coming, so I'll have plenty of lighting and I'll do a video once the lighting shows up because I love those black box lightings. It's what I've used on my 120. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, frag tank introduction. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you later.